will solve one problem asked the year of gate 2015 for two marks and the problem was asked from geotechnical engineering and the problem is a 588 centimeter cube volume of moist sand weights 1010 grams its a dry weight is 918 gram and the specific gravity of soil solids g is 2.67 Assuming density of water as 1 gram per centimeter cube, the void ratio is. So this problem was asked in the gate 2015 for 2 marks in set 2. So this problem we can solve here. They told, first of all we should write the given data. The total volume is given 588 centimeter cube and and the moist weight Means the saturated weight I can write it is and the dry weight also I can write it is equal to 10 10 gram and here this dry weight is 918 gram dry weight means it is the weight of solids here it it is uh, moist weight I cannot write I cannot write fully saturated weight because I don't know the degree of saturation here if it is fully saturated then I can write it is a saturated weight it is there it may be partially saturated so it is the uh, weight of moist soil and this is the completely dry soil means the weight of solids only then they told specific gravity is 2.7 and the unit weight of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube so specific gravity is 2.7 in the gamma w i can say in gram per centimeter cube is 1 gram per centimeter cube so these are the given data and we want to estimate Sorry, it is 2.67, 2.67 and we want to estimate the value of the void ratio. I know one formula of gamma dry, gamma dry is actually equal to G gamma W divided by 1 plus E. So from here gamma dry I can calculate which is equal to, with gamma dry is equal to the dry weight of soil means the weight of solids divided by total volume of the soil. So dry unit weight, dry unit weight we can calculate, uh, we can write 918 divided by 588, 918 divided by 588, this is what, this is the value of dry unit weight, weight of solid to the total volume is equal to G, G is given 2.67 into gamma W is also given 1. See, if the, if the gamma D you calculate in kilonewton per meter cube, then the gamma W will be 9.81 kilonewton per meter cube. But we are calculating the unit of, uh, we are calculating the value of gamma D in gram per centimeter cube. That's why the value of gamma W you should write here in gram per centimeter cube, which is equal to 1. If you calculate the gamma D in 1000, uh, if you calculate the value of gamma D in kg per meter cube, in that case, the value of gamma W you should write here 1000 kg per meter cube. Okay, so there are three values, 9.81 kilonewton per meter cube. Uh, it is the unit weight of water. In the case of kg, you can write 1000 kg per meter cube. In the case of gram, you can write 1 gram per centimeter cube. Right now, let me write here 1 gram per centimeter cube, 1 plus void ratio E. So E from here, we can calculate and the value of E is Point seven one. So from here the value of void ratio we are getting equal to 0 0.71. So it was a very easy problem. It was asked for two marks in gate 2015. Answer is 0 0.71. Thank you.